Hey, this is the process video I've been talking about on the community tab. Good to have you here. <laughs> um, this is a speed paint of uh, Filza. I'll probably be posting the full time lapse after the process video is released. I know this is something a lot of you have been waiting for, and if you follow me on Twitter, you know I've been wanting to do this for a while as well. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, but a quick disclaimer, I do speak fairly fast. I'm going to try my best to subtitle it, but apologies if, if it ends up not working out. And I won't be able to cover everything in this, uh, just because it is a time lapse and it's a little bit difficult to do a voiceover for everything. But hopefully I'll be able to do that a little bit better in the future. Alright, let's get into it. Firstly, what you're seeing me do here is basically just give kind of a rough draft of the pose and kind of where all the different body parts are. I actually struggle a lot with anatomy. Um, right, so what you're seeing me do here is just basically reposition everything before I go into the final line art. Um, that's really important to me, to have everything in the right place, uh, because my art style is really heavily reliant on super, super precise and specific line art. And if there's certain parts of the image that are out of alignment, when I go in to do the line art, then I end up having to reposition super, super tiny things. And that's just really irritating to me. So I'm kind of adjusting the shape here. Um, and then I'm going in with that purple to create what I originally thought was going to be my final line art layer, but then realized that I think I needed a little bit more detail in it. And I was messing with stuff too much on this layer for it to be my final. What you're actually seeing here as well with the different variations in color is me having recolored the line art. Uh, this is just a guideline for where the original color, where the base colors are going to be uh, when I end up going in with the final color. So you can see at the end of the wings there's a little bit of pink because I wanted it to be kind of pinkish, purplish on the ends of the wings. There's green on the clothes because that's how I was going to color his clothes. There's pink on the hands and the, and the uh, hair and the staff just because those are kind of suggestions of what that color is eventually going to be. You can also see uh, when I'm doing the line art, I put a little bit of a uh, like a red line along the edges of the wings so that I know where the motion of the wings is going. This is often something I do when I draw birds or people with wings, um, and it helps me position the feathers properly, which is a weird thing to say when referring to a person with wings. <laughs> I'm doing the color. Um, you can see that what I did here was a little bit of a simpler coloring than I usually would do uh, just because I couldn't figure out how to do it properly. And what you're not seeing actually is that I went through about four drafts of how I was meant to color the clothes and I just got so frustrated with it uh, that I ended up doing a black and white layer with a color overlay. And I make a little bit of variations in that color overlay where you see the blue on the edges of the sleeves and around the thigh. Um, just because I thought it looked a lot cooler. <laughs> Most of my decisions when I'm drawing are just what I think looks cool, honestly. Like, there's like no super technical thing to it. Here I'm just adding some more in-depth shadowing with multiply layers. If you're not really super familiar with digital art, there are certain 
types of blending that you can put on layers. Uh, you can actually see that on the right side of the page under the uh, the different layers that I have shown in the um, where it says blending normal. That can be set to a number of other options, which I later do and you will later see. Um, and multiply is one of them. It ends up essentially multiplying the color on it, on that layer, and it makes it a little bit darker, and it's really, really great for base shadowing. Now, here I'm doing the wings. Um, not really much to it, I'm just kind of coloring in the area, and I actually end up matching the color of the clothes just a little bit more to the wings to tie all the colors together. And I realized that because of all the detail that I did in the line art, I didn't really need to put a ton of detail into the coloring of the wings. Uh, and so that's what you're seeing here is I'm just going in with kind of super super basic highlights And I originally was also going to do shadow under every feather But then I realized if I had the highlights, it's kind of unnecessary and also kind of a pain So I decided against it and at this point all that's kind of left to do is really super basic details um, And to adjust the light and blending types of every layer, which is what you're seeing here I ended up setting the uh, the wings to a hard light blending blending layer because I thought they looked a little bit cooler that way and the details I'm adding here are the diamonds on his wings. Uh, that's kind of a reference to his hardcore Minecraft series where his elytra has diamonds on the wings. And I thought it looked really, really cool just to have those here. Now, really funny thing here, you see me kind of go in and color the shoes and it doesn't really look like I should be coloring the shoes at this point in the drawing. I actually forgot. Uh, the original plan was just to have those be kind of a dark green, um, like the sash around his midsection. But then I forgot and never put enough detail in it to make it colored well and then I was like ah, I'll just do it like the artist I'm referencing and I did the bottom of the soles white and then the tops of the feet kind of a more darkish green or black color I just forgot <laughs> and you see me make a few final adjustments to the lighting uh, this is just so I can tie all the different colors together Especially with a color scheme that's kind of in contradiction to itself. There's a lot of green versus purple in here, which actually go pretty well to, with one another in almost every other scenario, but can look a little bit awkward with digital art. Um, adding a light blending layer between them can actually help kind of tie everything together well. Uh, it also helps with the, uh, the warm colors of the hands and his hair. And I wasn't originally going to do a background, but I figured because the pose has him flying, um, it would help everything fit together a little bit more, or at least give the suggestion that he's up in the air. I tried to attempt that a little bit with the um, how it kind of looks like the emerald on his staff is kind of flying out behind him, and the feathers right below his wings kind of flying off, but it ended up not really looking the way that I wanted it to there, but I didn't know how to fix it, and I thought it looked kind of cool in the end. Um, and so I added this background. And the funny thing about this background is that <laughs> as I was drawing it, I was trying to make it kind of look like the original Lamanberg before I realized that when Filza first joined the Dream SMP, that was all gone, basically, except for like Eret's Tower. Um, but we're just we're just gonna, you know, scooch on past that. <laughs> it's not important, it's it's fine, I didn't just forget that. Um and there's actually a version of it that's doesn't have that background. Personally, I like the one that doesn't have the background a little bit better. I think it's a little bit cleaner. Uh, but generally, I like art with line art without backgrounds just because it allows the detail of the line art and the uh, super little nitpicky things about the coloring to show through. Whereas I think the background sometimes distracts from it. But I'm also happy with the background one and I feel like it looks a little bit more cohesive that way. Uh, but yeah, I was super happy with this end result. It wasn't originally what I wanted the coloring to do, um, but after experimenting with a few different tries, I realized that the coloring that I wanted to do, which was going to be actually a little bit less smooth than what's here, I wanted it to be kind of a more of a painterly style, um, and I soon realized that wasn't really going to work out with what I was doing, um, especially not with the style in which I did the line art. That concludes uh, the this process video. I hope to do a few more of these in the future. Um, this does take a lot of editing to end up putting together, so they're definitely going to be a lot less frequent than the speed paints. Um, for those of you who are subscribed or who have at least been fo at least been following my channel, um, I am working on a few animatics, um, or I say a few. I'm working on one, and I have like an idea for a second one. 
um, that I'm super excited about. I will bid you all good night or good morning or whatever time it is in your time zone. <laughs> I'll see y'all. Good night.